you know, we had an example in the discussion there of, of someone teaching maths using a chalk and, a, and blackboard. And, and I think that's perfectly um, appropriate that you should do that. Um, so I do think it depends on what, what you're teaching. But what, what's worked for me has been um, just to look at different ways to get information across. I mean, in, in information technology, I'm teaching commerce students who've never been inside a business what uh, information systems in business should be like. And, and so what I find very useful is being able to go and get a video, say, which describes what's happening in a business and show that to students because then it, it gives them some better sense of what happens inside a, a business. I can take them into a factory and I can show them around a factory. So I think it's really a question of finding materials that are appropriate to your discipline and appropriate to what you're teaching. And you can start small in terms of you know incorporating a video or incorporating there are simulation games and activities and things like that incorporating something like that into the classroom um, I mean I've found really just out of desperation that I've moved away from a, a very traditional way of lecturing teaching um, because when I stand up and talk to students they all immediately whip out their phones and start doing more interesting things on their phones so really it was a kind of self-defense thing because there's nothing quite so demoralizing as standing in front of a class while they all play with their phones and so what I do is I do a lot more activities with students you know I make them get into groups um, even in, in lecture theatres, which are not really well suited to that kind of thing, I make them get into groups, um, have a conversation about something, I give them a reading, which they hate because they don't like reading. Um, but, but just to have activities and engagements that are a little bit different. Um, and, and I think that kind of makes the learning environment more stimulating for them, certainly more stimulating for, for me. Um, but what you actually do depends a lot on, on your discipline and, and what you're teaching. So I can't really come in with a formula and say, you should be doing this, you should be doing this, you should be doing this. But I think exploring the technologies that are out there, trying one or two things, talking to colleagues, finding out what worked for them, um, I think that's a good way to, to kind of get up to speed.